Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for, well, whenever it resonates, but it is being recorded for the 15th, all right? So we're just going to see whatever comes up. I'm going to use the Vice Versa deck. I've cut it to the Two of Wands, which is about a choice. You need to make a choice. You want to stay or you want to go? What path are you going to go down? You're going to go down the path that... you're comfortable with? Are you going to go down the path that's the easiest? Are you going to go down or are you going to stay right where you're at? Or are you going to take the road less traveled? What are you going to do? You have to make a choice here. Are you ready to step over the edge? Are you ready to step into the unknown? Today is a day of making a decision. You have to make a decision. Somebody may try, may be trying to you know, figure out where's where's the grass going to be greener? Where is the best place for me to go? Somebody is in the process of making a decision, right? Aren't we all, right? Aren't we all? It feels as though somebody may be feeling emotionally detached because this is a, uh, it's a very significant decision, right? It's a big choice. I mean, to move forward you're going to have to leave something behind. So this is a decision. Somebody has to leave something behind. Or not. The choice is yours. So we're going to start with this. We're going to get one of these. Somebody may be waiting. Somebody be, may be waiting for, you know some sort of clarity, some sort of guidance in regards to which way I should go. Maybe they're waiting for some sort of clue before they make their decision. Ooh, universe. This is the world card. This is a completion. A major new beginning is coming. Somebody has successfully completed one chapter in their life, a big chapter, and now it's time to begin a new one, and that's why this card is here. It's time to step into the unknown, because that chapter is over. Somebody may be trying to figure out where they're going to go next, you know, travel, um, where they're going to move to, because that Two of Wands can be about moving, about traveling, trying to make a decision. Like I said, do I want to stay or do I want to go? Somebody's in the process of making a decision. What's my next step? We have a... Uh, Something big, something big, something new is starting. <sighs> Looks like it's time to relocate. It is. For some of you, it is absolutely time to relocate. It's time to go someplace else. Wherever you're at, there's no more growth. It's dead. You can't get anything anything else or anything more off of a dead tree. It's time to dig it up and plant some new seeds or go someplace else. There's not enough light here. There's not enough Well, Somebody didn't take care of it. Now it's dead. And, and this person knows. This person knows that it's too late. But it's like he's still waiting. Like I said with the other card. It's like I'm still waiting for something. Somebody is still waiting for something to happen. But it's, it's too late. Okay, it's too late. I feel like something has already... You know, it's already washed away. It's, it's already... Um, It's too late. 
it's too late. It's, it's too late. I'm sorry. Something it's too. It's already spilled. If you look on this side, you know, he's still there. He's still there. He can go fill those cups back up. Blah 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 blah. It's it's still available here. He's gone. The ship has already sailed. He's he's gone. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Something is too late. It's too late. And somebody knows that it's too late. We're just going to keep laying out the cards until I got them all out. Ooh. And here we have the Page of Pentacles. This is a, a new offer, a new opportunity to start over. Okay? Starting at the beginning. Learning new things. Going down a new path. Broadening your horizons. Maybe it's time to refocus. Maybe this is the moment when somebody has to find that moral backbone to rise up and take charge and go that road that they know they need to take. Even though it isn't going to be fun. Because it's never fun to start over. So I feel like somebody is in the process of making a decision as to where they want to go next. And perhaps which route is going to be the easiest, you know. Somebody's looking perhaps for the easiest route, right? Well, aren't we all? Anyhow, um, somebody is realizing. And see, this person obviously didn't take care of it because he was lazy. Somebody was lazy. They didn't take care of what they, the tree. They didn't take care of their seeds. They didn't nurture it. Whatever. Now it's dead. Now it's, now it's washed away. The ship has sailed. The ship has sailed. Now somebody here, we have this independent person who is has turned the back completely. We have this independent person who has turned their back. This person is doing quite well, very self-sufficient, very comfortable, um, very secure, stable, um, at ease, no fear. This person has gained a lot of strength and stamina through solitude. We have a very strong, independent person here who has been manifesting um, abundance, okay? This person has been manifesting, and they've been, not only has this person been manifesting abundance, this person has been working really hard. This person has been really doing everything in their power to, to grow and nurture themselves. Now this person, as you can look at the difference, this person let something die. <laughs> Didn't take care of it, it's dead. Over here we have all this green, okay? We have this person nurtured, this person took care of business, this person took care of themselves, took care of everything around them, just really did a lot of, worked hard worked hard. The next card is the Ten of Pentacles. It's extreme abundance. So we have this independent person who has found the strength to persevere and pick themselves back up from whoever this was that left them to die. Whatever. Anyway, um, left them on their own. So I... I, I <laughs> This is a tough message, I know. Anyhow, um, we have this person that has persevered after a, a, let down, okay? A let down, a serious let down. Now the ship has sailed. This person is doing great, fantastic, very self-sufficient. This person's been manifesting with the moon. Somebody's been watching in that tower. Somebody has been watching. Somebody sees this person's abundance. Somebody sees all the work, sees the beauty this person has has become. Okay? So it looks as though we have somebody here that has gained a lot of strength, stamina, inner beauty, self-worth, self-respect, the whole nine yards, everything. This person is enjoying life, doing great found the strength to face their own demons, okay? We have somebody here that has found the strength to face the devil, to face their own demons. This is the empress right here. 
So we have somebody here that has found the strength to face their own demons. Now the past, the Six of Cups, you know, maybe that was their demon. Maybe the past was their demon. Face their memories, you know, deal with their memories. But this is every light in the house is on, you know. Somebody somebody from the past may be waiting, okay? Because remember we saw that. Or this person may have been waiting for somebody from the past to come back. Could be either way. But we have the past here. Memories of the past or the past wants to come back. Somebody has been waiting for somebody from the past, okay? Um... Oh, we have justice. Imagine that. And then we have moving on. This person has moved on. This person has mastered their emotions. They have moved on and they are not looking back. There's no looking back now. This person is facing forward. It's like what is behind me is behind me. I'm not looking back. This ship has truly sailed. That's karma for you. So I feel like somebody from the past wants to come back. They've been watching this woman, they've been what or this man, this independent person. They've been watching this person grow. They've been watching this person's abundance grow. They've been watching this person prosper. And now this person wants to come back. This person <laughs> five of cups, of course realizes that now this per now that this person has found their strength to face their demons to face their fears to deal with this toxic situation they realize that this person has another opportunity so i really feel as though there is somebody from the past that wants to come back because now they realize that their ship has sailed and the, the serious issue is, is that we have, you know, a final decision. It's final. It's final. It's final. It is. I feel like somebody had been in denial and they had been denying their true feelings, trying to avoid how they truly felt for too long, but it's too late because the ship has sailed. The ship has sailed. It's too late. Now, you know, the decision has been made and karma has come back around because somebody is not going to get anything else because it's too late okay so I really feel as though somebody from the past has a strong desire to regain control of something that they let die and that sucks because it's too late Somebody avoided the situation for too long. A whole lot of avoidance here. While they were avoiding their true feelings, this other person was growing. This other person was enjoying life. This other person was working hard. They were finding the strength to deal with the toxicity in the lack. Now this person has moved on and somebody else is interested. So I feel like we have a major new beginning for this person who has turned their back on this dead end situation. I feel like this person, both of these people, are going to get what they deserve. The person that didn't nurture when they should have is going to get what they deserve. The person that worked hard is going to get what they deserve. They're moving forward. This person is moving forward towards victory and success. This person is triumphant for turning their back. We have somebody here that has find, found the strength to face to face their fears, to face their demons. And it's like now there's an opportunity to come together with somebody else.
I think somebody is headed in this person's direction pretty quickly. Could be somebody that already knows this person. They could have a past together. This is Capricorn. This is Leo. This is the Empress. So this would be Taurus and Libra. This is Capricorn again. Cancer. Libra. Somebody is beginning to realize that they have another opportunity for love with this Five of Cups. And it's a big opportunity. Look how big those cups are. And this rose symbolizes love. So I feel like we definitely have a new beginning here. Somebody may be wanting to come in with an apology. Somebody may be, this can signify an apology. Somebody may be coming in with an apology. Oh, that card again. Maybe they've made a decision. Maybe this person has finally made a decision. Maybe the, and if this was reversed, maybe the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So, ooh, the death card. And the king of pentacles, look at that. Endings bring new beginnings. So, I feel like there has been a significant ending here. Somebody has found their worth. They know what they're worth. They've found a lot of strength and courage and confidence to persevere after being left, you know, untaken care of, right? Somebody was left to fend for themselves. And now they've really... called in a new beginning because they've worked so hard to face their own demons. We have a new beginning here. There's absolutely no doubt with the universe card and the death card. We have a new beginning here and it's for this independent person who put in a heck of a lot of effort to not look back at this dead end. This person is watching too. The person that let it die that person from the past is absolutely still watching. That person knows that they made a bad decision. And they may want to apologize. But they may know that it's too late as well. So I really feel like we have somebody here that has completely moved on. And because they have moved on... They have a new beginning. Now, this is a card of transformation. This is a card of a transformation. This independent person has went through a transformation. And she's been talking to the moon. She's called in a soulmate. We have a soulmate connection here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, I really feel as though... And this is Scorpio. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. So anyway, I really feel as though we have a new opportunity to start over. After turning your back on a toxic situation. I feel like we have a major new beginning coming in. With somebody that you have probably known before. And you may have to make a choice. Are you ready to let go of this dead end for real? To get that last pentacle? Are you ready? Because now you have to make a choice. Okay? You've got to make a choice. It's a stressful, painful decision. 
to accept an offer from somebody new. So I feel like somebody's in the process of making a decision. Do I want this new offer? Do I want this new beginning? I feel like somebody is in the process of making a serious decision as to whether they want to accept this offer of love or not. There is an offer of love here. There is. And I feel there's a strong attraction. There is a very strong attraction. There's a pull. There's, there's, there's a magnetic energy pulling two people together. Okay? Um, it's strong. It is. It's a strong magnetic pull pulling two people together. But somebody is really afraid. Somebody is really afraid to start over. So we do have a time of transition here, a transformation. Somebody is going through a, a huge transition in their life. And this transition includes letting go, letting go of what has already died. So today is a day of, of, of making a decision as to whether you want this opportunity, making an offer. This is, this is, this is, could be a new offer. This could be like somebody extending you, you know, something, whatever it could be. This could be anything. It could just be communication. It could be, you know, asking out on a date, asking out to lunch, something little. This is a, this is a beginning So somebody may be reaching out with a little offer, you know, to start things. It's, it's a start after something has died. So I feel like there's a, a little offering coming in. Somebody is making a decision to make a small offer because one phase is finally over. It's final. A final phase is over, right? It's finally over. Something is final and it's over and it's time to begin again. Endings bring new beginnings. I mean, that's what this is. So yeah, we, got, we definitely have a new beginning here. I mean, that's all there is to it. Somebody is, is making a decision as to whether they want to you know, do this or not. They do see that this person has a lot to offer, put it that way. This person keeps thinking about their past, though. The person that is making a decision keeps thinking about their past. They keep thinking about, you know, they have a lot of memories of the past. They have a lot of memories of the toxicity. But I think they realize that it's time to release it and start over. So that's what it looks like to me. Let's get one of these. I think somebody is making a decision to move in a new direction. They're moving forward. Okay, somebody is moving forward with I think somebody new. Far away places. And I think I said this at the beginning, didn't I? Unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. This is unknown territory. It is absolutely unknown territory. Far away places. Get ready for new horizons. Stop playing it safe. 
Get ready for new horizons and change your life. A journey is coming. It might be to foreign lands or faraway places. Remember I said something about travel at the beginning. It's funny. Or it may be an inner shift that changes your destiny. It's all beneficial. Sometimes we can feel wobbled when we are not in our normal surroundings. However, you are safe and protected. Good fortune ensues. Part of the glory of travel is stepping out of old habits, routines, and the repetitiveness, repetitiveness of everyday life. It can feel daunting, yet in no small way your life is a spiritual voyage. Change is coming. That is absolutely the truth. Things are not as they seem. There are no wrong turns. Every adventure and misadventure is part of the course. You are on a pilgr pilgrimage of the soul. Keep your metaphorical bag packed. Some unexpected experiences are ahead. Be ready for anything. The joy of travel is that you can begin to experience the everyday as if you are seeing it for the first time. Nothing should be taken for granted. And up here something was. Something has died. But it all happened for a reason. We have a new beginning here. To travel to a new destination. It's exactly ha happening the way it is supposed to happen. So yeah, I mean, that's what I have for today. I feel like somebody is in the process of making a decision as to what the next step is. Good luck.